Hey guys, Rules here. Merry Nickmas, everyone! Did you know that Rudy has the chalk? Now I know, it's very subtle in the theme song, but that's the message that I picked up. But seriously, the chalk's own Christmas special is called When Santas Collide. How does it hold up? Not very well. At best, it's a mixed bag. So it's Christmas time, and Rudy's hoping to get some expensive drawing pens. His dad ever so subtly hints that he's not getting them for Christmas, which makes Rudy all grumpy about Christmas. So he decides to run off to Chalk Zone and celebrate Christmas there. Meanwhile, his dad is looking for a Santa suit because it's Tabuti tradition that his dad dresses up like Santa for their little niece. Rudy's friend Penny comes over and finds him in Chalk Zone, and is upset that he doesn't want to spend Christmas time with his family. It turns out the Chalk Zone has eight Santas and a whole flight crew ready to guide them so they don't crash into each other, and Snap's one of the elves helping out. Rudy accidentally spills Snap's soda on the console and wrecks all the flight computers, causing all the Santas to crash into each other and get hurt. Rudy, being mostly responsible, draws them new sleighs and helps them get better so that Chalk Zone can actually have a Christmas. And of course, one of the Santas is so badly injured that Rudy has to fill in for him. Penny keeps urging Rudy to get back to his own family, and eventually Rudy decides to do so, gaining some Christmas spirit along the way. So, it may not be apparent in the way I just recapped it, but we spend a lot of time with Rudy's family, away from Chalk Zone, and away from Rudy and Penny and anyone we actually care about for that matter, focusing instead on Rudy's parents and niece. Rudy's dad is really obsessed with getting a Santa Claus outfit, and it's just kind of annoying. His parents have slightly annoying accents and aren't the most fleshed out characters, so you're really not that invested. His cousin is cute, I guess, but during those scenes, you just kind of want to get back to Chalk Zone where the interesting things are happening. Rudy being a grump just because he doesn't think he's going to get what he wants for Christmas is a bit harsh. There are more justifiable ways that they could have made him down on Christmas, but instead it comes off as incredibly petty and materialistic, and what's worse is that he really doesn't even do anything in Chalk Zone to warrant a change in his mind. It's not like he learns anything about the true meaning of Christmas or any of that kind of stuff. No, he just goes off, has a Christmas adventure, and then is like, oh yeah, I should probably go with be with my family. Here's a minor nitpick that has more to do with Chalk Zone than this episode, but um... Why does Rudy have the same voice as Tommy from All Grown Up? I mean, I know E.G. Daly is voicing both of them, but I mean, you could have changed your voice a little bit, couldn't you? I mean, jeez, they sound so similar. It's really just uncanny, and I probably wouldn't have even have noticed if I didn't just watch All Grown Up's Christmas special, but seeing them both so close to each other, it's impossible to not hear it. What I can say in favor of the special is that their song, Merry Chris Hanukkah Mus and a Happy Rama Kwanzaa Don, is a mishmash of all these different holidays that are celebrated around wintertime, and it's a really catchy song. Chuck Zone had a lot of good songs. But this one is really awesome, and I like that it's all-inclusive. And some of the stuff in Chalk Zone's pretty cool, it's always a fairly surreal place to be, and the idea that there's more than one Santa here is pretty enjoyable. There's nothing great about it, though. There's nothing crazy, there's nothing you haven't really seen before, and Rudy spilling that soda on the console is, like, broadcast from a million miles away. Like, first we see Snap buying the soda, then we take extra care to see him placing it on top. Like, it's just so clear that that's gonna go wrong. It is so predictable that you're just, like, waiting for it to happen, and, and that hurts the episode. You can foreshadow this without making it seem blatantly obvious. So yeah, the episode's focus is quite a bit off, and there's nothing amazing that will draw you to this episode, so it's another one of those middle-of-the-road Christmas specials. If it's on, check it out. If not, you probably don't even remember what Chalk Zone is, so yeah. Pie Guy Rules, out.